we're going to look at 25 survival uses for the old surplus ammo can. You got to improvise to survive. Today we're going to take a look at the military surplus ammo tin and many different uses for this. And we're going to continue our taking everyday items. And if you're a gun guy, this is an everyday item and using it for multiple purposes. Western nations have used the reusable ammo tins for a long time. In fact, these were very popular during World War II. Not this configuration. This was something that was designed back in the 1950s and has pretty much stayed the same uh, from that time, uh, which is different from the Eastern Bloc countries or the Warsaw Pact, which typically uses spam cans. And those are just, you open them with an opener and then you throw them away. Uh, but one of the great things about these being reusable, they're super sturdy. Uh, they can handle a lot of weight. They're stackable and they seal very well. In fact, there's a rubber gasket that runs through here, which makes these uh, just perfect for using for a lot of different storage possibilities. But there are other things that these can be used for as well. Now, there are a lot of sizes and shapes of the metal ammo boxes. Uh, and these are all military surplus, which I really prefer. Uh, this is one of the what they call the 30 caliber can. This is what many call the 50 caliber can. And then this is just a little bit larger. I think this one actually holds 800 rounds of 5.56 tracer ammo. A lot of cans have some compartments inside and they're kind of very specialized. But these are typically, to me, the best that are sturdy and strong and yet they're very portable. You get pretty much bigger than this and you fill it up, especially with ammo, and you're going to have a hard time transporting it. Now some of the features of the can is they do have a carry handle. It is metal and it will pretty much handle anything you put in here. It has a little snap here that locks it down uh, and actually seals in the rubber gasket that's inside. Open it up, you've got plenty of room. The great thing is the lid actually comes down the lip and it covers over it so it helps with keeping water out. It has a real strong sturdy hinge. Uh, you can see the rubber gasket that goes all the way around and I'll tell you guys you need to be careful maybe putting a little silicone or a little oil on this to keep it from you know dry rotting. One of the great things about these tins though is you can actually take the lid off as you can see here and it's a really strong system but if you need to get that lid off and there's a couple of things that will show why you do and then you just place it back in close it down and then right here at the front again just snap solid. Now even though you can lock this down with a chain and hold it in place, uh, there are some aftermarket companies that have little places or fixtures that you can use padlocks on here to keep this secure and have a little bit of safety uh, as a small little safe. Another great feature, these are stackable. So you can store these really easily and stack them up to be able to get to them. You have this little handle here if you ever need to pull it out. So it makes it just, it's really well thought out and obviously it's been used by the U.S. military for uh, at least 70 years. You'll notice underneath there's a groove right here that fits right over the handle. Uh, one of the things about the 30 caliber is that it's more uh, linear and so it's thinner and it's a little more top heavy. With the 50 caliber cans you have a lot more stability. And then of course with the larger cans it's even better. Now the U.S. military surplus tins have been relatively cheap. Uh, because they've sold them at auction and you can find them a lot of times in Army Navy surplus stores or gun shows and things like that. But they do make a lot of the aftermarket commercial tents. And that's what we have here. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. There's a few things about them to me that are not quite as nice. But, and one thing too is they can be kind of expensive. Or at least expensive compared to the surplus ammo tins. But there have been times where certain administrations have tried to limit the sale of these and actually just used them for scrap, uh, which was really a shame because these things are super useful. Now guys, make sure that you remember that if it is a military surplus tin, that it has had lead and propellants in there and it's not safe for food or for water for that matter, uh, unless you're gonna use it for other purposes rather than drinking. Uh, and then if you do the commercial tins, you can use those for food. I would wash them very good. Definitely one of the advantages of going with a commercial tin. Now the thing that I use mainly for my ammo tins is this. <laughs> is ammo. And um, even have some bandoliers in here and loose at the bottom. But this is a perfect way. These boxes are super sturdy. Again, they're stackable and they can handle this load. And plus, they're out of the elements. But not only loose ammo, but also in boxes. And here we have 45 ACP in a 30 caliber box. And it uh, just stacks really nicely. And of course, after you're done at the range,
dump your brass in there and then when you get home you can sort it out. Storing loaded magazines or unloaded magazines. You can pack quite a few in here. Having a really well stocked survival kit, this is perfect. It stores it, it keeps it, it protects it. One thing you can use, and I would definitely recommend the 50 caliber can, is a step stool. So you can reach high things and get to them. The 30 caliber is a little bit wobbly, but no matter what, be careful. Main thing is, don't ever stack them and step on them. <laughs> I'm saying that from experience. Keeping your fire tinder dry. This is some of the tinder torch from Ingalls Creek Outdoors. Great stuff. Uh, it's actually waterproof, but this will help to keep those fires going quicker. Also throw matches, lighters, and even a small fire kit. Lock it down and you've got it out of the elements. And keeping those matches dry can be really important for the finer things in life. And while it's not super comfortable, you can use it as a small stool to sit on. Now I did a video a while back using this tin for an emergency car kit. Uh, and so just keep all the essentials in case you have an, a driving emergency or whatever that is. And just pack this in. It keeps it protected and it's good and square. It's compact. And these really make a good little thing. They can typically fit under a lot of seats or definitely in the trunk. One thing though is, and I've written it on here, leave in car. <laughs> These can also be used to store handguns, especially if you have something like this with, with the foam. And then you have your magazines right here. Keeps it really organized. You can keep your pistol down in there, keep it well protected. Uh, and, you know, just fit this however you want to. You could actually fit some just like this, and you could stack probably three or four handguns like that. Keep them good and safe. These things are sturdy. And this was done by USN ER Doc, and he sent this to me a few years ago. Uh, you'll see it in a lot of my videos because it's on my bench. Of course, you can fill this with water. Just reattach your lid, and you can carry it. You can even put a stick in between two of them, uh, but this makes it a great way to just carry this water in a pinch. But again, this is not drinking water. This can also be used to wash your clothes. Put some detergent in there, take your clothes. May not be perfect, but it definitely will help. <laughs> It'll keep the smell down. Take your ammo tin, take a plastic bag, just line the can. And it makes a filled toilet, don't forget the TP. One thing that can be vulnerable to the elements are medical supplies and being able to stuff medical supplies, get them out of the elements, you know, whether it's small trauma kits, different things like that. You can pack these in here, it seals them up. You can actually mark these as first aid or trauma supplies as well. Lock it down, especially in this little 30 caliber can. This makes it really handy and easy to pack, easy to get to. You don't have to worry about these getting crushed either. These can also be used like on a vehicle, a tractor, an ATV. You can actually bolt them uh, to the vehicle itself and then open it up, get to whatever you need. Uh, I've seen a lot of really cool designs. Also, you can build radios out of these housings. I mean, they're just really made to be able to do a lot of things. It's rigid. It's going to protect the electronics in it. Another good thing to do is to fill it with dirt and use it to fortify you know, your area if you're in an SHTF situation. Uh, you know, dirt, sandbags are a great way to stop bullets. And um, you can load these up with dirt, pack them around, and be able to use them for that. Uh, now, as far as a cache uh, and being able to bury this, uh, one, there's a couple of things about it. Now, it is sealed, so for short term, this would work great. But one of the big problems is going to be it is metal, and it will be able to be found uh, with a metal detector. Uh, so that's something to consider. Uh, also, they can rust. And over long term, you know, I personally would not really probably use this in a cache unless it was an emergency cache that I just wanted to, you know, use for temporarily. Keeping important documents out of the elements, um, especially like maps, things like that that you might need, uh, insurance papers, things that maybe if you're on the go, you can tuck them away in here. This is going to really give them a lot of added protection. Of course, you don't want to forget your playing cards. <laughs>
One thing that a lot of survival seed companies, just like this Texas Ready, uh, they store their seeds in an ammo tin. You got all your seeds right here. Uh, this keeps them dark, cool, and watertight. So it's a great place to be able to keep your seeds, especially your heirloom seeds. A lot of times you have things that can be flammable, things that can spill and make a mess. We can place those in here. It keeps them protected, and in case something does happen, it's going to keep them from contain it and reduce the chance of these catching on fire. You can also fill this with ice and use it as a cooler, uh, or you can fill it with hot rocks out of a fire and have it as an in-tent heater. It uh, keeps the tent warm, and yet it protects the tent from getting burned. A great place to put electronics, especially those that you might need in a survival type situation, whether it's radios, emergency radios, two-way ham radios, and then you can just close this down and it's good and solid. Again, it protects it from getting crushed, uh, it keeps it out of the water, and you just know where it is. Of course, throwing in extra batteries as well is another way to protect it. Now, down in the description below, if you have some ideas where tins could be used in a survival situation, please leave it down in the comments. Um, it's great for guys to go through and look and see those additional comments. I always learn something from you guys down there. So, I really appreciate the participation getting involved because, guys, again, you have to improvise to survive. And it's really important to think outside the box, even if it's an ammo box. And today at lunch, the girl to register started reading, Long Live the Republic. And she was like, what? And you can get these shirts at teespring.com slash stores slash suit zero zero. Which includes the awesome Team Suits logo. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Today at lunch, the girl who was checking me out. <laughs> so we're gonna take a look at the ammo can, one of the things that they like. And another great feature, and another great feature is it has a, sp now another great feature is it has, now, lighters. Uh, you can actually mark the tins with a, you know, with a symbol of the cross. You can actually mark the symbol. You can actually mark these as a red. You can actually mark these 